In this video, you're going to learn how to turn any YouTube video that has already been published on the internet into your own unique YouTube video using a copy and paste method which I will show you. Using this method, I was able to turn one of Ali Abdul's shorts YouTube video into my own YouTube video. First step is to find the YouTube video you want to copy. For this step, I went over to Ali's channel, scrolled over to his shorts video section and found the video. I came across this particular video in my shorts feed and would like to create something similar to this video. The next step is to download this video. And for this step you can use any video downloader tool. But I found a free online video downloader that would let me copy and paste the link into the website and download the video file for free. It took only a few seconds for me to get this video. The next step is to upload this video file to Descript. To download and install the Descript software for your PC, you need to go over to their website and download the appropriate file type for your PC. Sign up with an email address, set up an account and you'll be able to create a new project. I've already created a new project in Descript. All I have to do is drag and drop the video file into this project. As you can see, it would take some time to upload and analyze this file. Now that the file upload is complete, I'm going to generate a transcript from the video. I'll click on the drop-down menu and select Video Transcript. You can use any method to get the YouTube video transcript, but for me, using Descript is the best. The reason is that Descript would automatically detect and add punctuation marks, full stops, paragraphs and also capitalize important words. It can also generate very accurate transcripts, even if there's a background music in the video or audio. If I play back this video, I see no errors in the transcript. This is the Goldilocks rule, and it can help you be more successful in work and in life. So Goldilocks and the Three Bears is obviously this famous children's story about a girl who sneaks into the house of a family of bears. And each time Goldilocks tests something- I can then copy and paste this transcript into a text editor for the next step. Alternatively, you can use the share button to export the generated text in a variety of documents formats. I have a special link in this video description below in case you want to sign up for Descript. Now that the transcript is ready, I'm going to head over to ChatGPT. This is the transcript, I'm going to paste it into ChatGPT. By default, it's going to rewrite this text into a different format. So, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate a different article, similar in style to the original transcript I have provided, but on a different topic that is not about the Goldilocks rule. This was the first output, the Pareto Principle. I also asked for two more passages in the same style, but on different topics or concepts. This was how I was able to generate three separate video scripts from the original transcript. I opened up a new Google Docs project where I copied the generated output. As the next step, I would need to test this generated output for plagiarism and AI detection score. For this test, I'm going to head over to Originality AI. I copied the first script to the website to be scanned. The result was not looking good. Even though it was free of plagiarism, it also showed a 99% AI detection score and 1% human-generated content. So the next step is to fix this. To rewrite this article, I'm going to use Quillbot. I'll head over to the Quillbot AI website, copy and paste the text into the text box. Quillbot's free plan allows you to only paraphrase 125 words at once. I don't have a pro plan. That's the reason why I got this notice and some parts of the text are grayed out. So I'm going to cut off some part of this text to fit within 125 word limit. As soon as I click paraphrase, the AI tool automatically rewrites the text and gives me an output that's similar to the original, but written in a different tone. If I don't like the output, all I have to do is click on rephrase. I'm going to copy this new output to the Google document and give it a different color code. I'll repeat this process for the rest of the scripts generated by ChatGPT. When I'm done with paraphrasing each text, I'll place it under the original and color code it. I'm going to test this script again by running it through the AI scanner. As you can see, the results have flipped. It now shows 99% human and 1% AI. This is safe and we can proceed to the next step, which is making the video for our content. To generate the visuals or video editing, I'm going to use Pictory AI. I'll head over to Pictory AI and choose the script to video option. I'm going to paste the script and select a suitable template for the project. 
the AI would do its thing and take me over to the video editing interface. As you can see, Pictory AI has split up the entire script into sentences. Each sentence has a scene. As you can see, almost all the scenes are blank. I'm going to add appropriate visuals to each scene so that I can create the final video. Whenever I click on any scene, a couple of keywords appears in the left-hand panel. I can search for appropriate stock footage using these keywords or I can just search for something entirely different by using the search bar above. Whenever I find a suitable stock footage, I'll just click on it to add it to the preview. I can go over to the editor preview to adjust the size or position of the stock footage. I'm going to do this for all the scenes until I get to the last scene. This is the final edit to the visuals. I'm partially done with this step. The video is not yet complete as it needs a good voiceover. The next thing to do is to find a suitable voiceover for the script. And for this step, I'm going to head back to Descript AI. I'm going to launch Descript, and while it's loading, I'll head over to the Google Docs and copy the text. In Descript, I'll create a new classic project and give it a title. I would copy and paste the script into the project. To generate the voiceover, I click on speaker, go over to select stock voices, and here's a list of 8 high quality voiceover avatars. I'll quickly preview them so that you can get an idea of what they sound like. Life is like a camera. Life is like a camera. Just fo Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Capture the good. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important. Life is like a camera. Just focus. I'd select Malcolm. I think Malcolm sounds best for what I want to make. As soon as I've selected a voiceover avatar, the audio would begin to generate. After a few seconds to a few minutes, I would have my audio file. Waiting time depends on how long the text is. I'm going to preview this audio by giving it a playback. The Pareto Principle, commonly known as the 80-20 rule, is a principle that can help you be more productive and effective in your daily life. The theory was established by Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, who noted that 20% of the people in Italy possessed 80% of the country's wealth. It sounds good. If you noticed any errors, you can edit the text just like you edit any text document. To export this file, I'm going to click on the share button. Select the export option and there's a bunch of audio file formats for this file export. I'll select either the WAV or MP3 file formats. The audio will be exported and I'll get this notification. The file has been saved to my computer. I'll head back to Pictory AI. Now, I'm going to select the audio option. I'll choose upload voiceover. I'm going to drag and drop the voiceover file into my project. Now that the file upload is complete, the next step is to synchronize the audio file with the video file, and Pictory can automatically do this. Click to add the voiceover to the entire project. I'll give the AI some time to analyze and synchronize the audio to the video. Let's preview the video. Productive and effective in your daily life. The theory was established by Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, who noted that 20% of the people in Italy possessed 80% of the country's wealth. The Pareto Principle, which claims that 80% of outcomes result from 20% of causes, was derived from this discovery. In actuality, this means that in the majority of circumstances, 20% of the inputs produce 80 Next is to add a background music to the video. I'm going to browse through the stock music section to look for a good background music. In case you can't find any music you like, you can also upload your own music, the same way I uploaded the voiceover. I'm going to reduce the volume of the background music to prevent it from drowning out the actual voiceover. Here's the final preview. Principle that can help you be more productive and effective in your daily life. The theory was established by Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, who noted that 20% of the people in Italy possessed 80% of the country. So, I'm going to do some minor edits and add finishing touches. To export the video, select the export option at the top right. Click export as video, and give the AI some time to do its job. This method I've shown in this tutorial video can be modified into any creative form, depending on what you want to do and the type of content you want to create. So, please try to explore and be creative with this process. You can even use this procedure to write entire video scripts by building off someone else's style. When the video export is complete, you can simply click to download your video. This is the final video. 
numerous aspects of life, including employment, interpersonal relationships, and personal growth, might benefit from the Pareto Principle. For instance, concentrating on the 20% of tasks that provide 80% of the results at work might increase your productivity and efficiency. Similar to this, concentrating on the 20% of behaviors that result in 80% of the happiness and pleasure in relationships can aid in the development of deeper and more meaningful connections. It's crucial to remember that the precise ratios might not always be 80-20, and it's up to you to strike the correct balance. It may occasionally be 90-10 or 70-30. Prioritizing the inputs with the greatest info. The video that appeared on the screen shows you how to monetize AI-generated videos on YouTube the right way. I highly recommend that you watch the video right away. Thanks for watching.